Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elson Cruz. Welcome back for more Skyward Sword. Here we are in Skyloft. Let's go ahead and talk to the Headmaster, Kapor Gabora, because he's got a little bit of information that we'll be needing here very shortly in order to actually continue the story, which is going to be nice. I think I'm just going to record one more episode because uh, at the end of the last one, I decided to take like a little nap, and then I woke up, and it's like noon right now, so <laughs> that's weird. I don't usually... I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. Hey, Pippin, how's it going? Your mom ever say anything about me lately? <laughs> Hey, Allison, you're looking pretty upbeat lately. You know, a funny thing, my mom is kind of looking the same way, too. All right, yep, yep. Just keep waiting for Zelda to come back. Is there anyone else that's still in here? Probably. Oh, no, no one is in the bath. For once, nobody is in the bath. Maybe it's just at night, but this is the bathroom. And there's stuff you can do here. <laughs> Look at this. <sighs> Get in there. Next person who goes in there is going to have themselves a glass shower, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, let's get it. Isn't a glass shower like something, like, I don't know, like an, or, like an orgy and then everyone just, never mind. I'm done. Let's go, let's go talk to the headmaster before uh, getting ourselves expo uh, expelled. So he's going to be in here. It's like every single person is going to be in their room, which doesn't make any sense. Hey, you got yourself a nice little dot, that dot above your head. You're back, Allison. Good to see you're still in one piece. Why, thank you. It's good to see that you're still your one and a half pieces. So, here, let me tell you a story, old man. <laughs> I see, my dear Zelda. Thanks for yeah, we haven't even talked to him since we left. <laughs> okay, nope, it's not that easy for me, being just a lonely boy. No potential love interests, no fairy, no nothing. You know, I'm not much of a singer. Okay, so we're asking him for the lyrics for the godded, or the, the Ballad of the Wind Goddess. I keep messing that up, but we can make him sing it. Sing it like you sing in the shower. As I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading to you. I'm not saying to serenade, I'm just saying to sing it so I have a bit of an idea of how it goes. Oh, youth guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. Yeah, that fit a little too well. <laughs> okay, so that's the first verse, and then the second verse is just, the text is so slow. Oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to, ah, I can't even rap it because it's going so slow. It's like, okay, you said you weren't going to sing it, but here you are singing it extremely slowly. You know, I would take everything this guy says with a grain of sand, because you guys remember what he said about the whole prophecy before when we were just meeting Fifi for the first time. He got it all wrong, and here he is, you know, basically repeating to us the Battle of the Wind Goddess. So he's talking about the Light Tower, and there is actually the Light Tower here in town. Thank God for that. And so we got to go and do kind of a convoluted quest uh, involving two whirling sails. Now, fortunately, since we do have an item that makes that little part of this easier, actually it's a mandatory item, we'll be able to go deal with that post-haste. I, I feel like I've, I've been saying post-haste so quickly, or so quick, so often lately, but I don't know. It's just like post-haste. Who says that? Isn't that, that's something that people at the post office write, don't they? Eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's been, there's, uh, small windmills over here that we can go and rotate for the land, love forever, hand in hand, and we can go and do so with, da da da, -da our amazing gust bellows that I didn't want to equip, just wanted to select it. So, that giant building over there off in the distance, that is the light tower, and we're gonna go ahead and have to rotate two of these in order to actually face it. Now, this is kind of an annoying thing, you have to be really careful that you don't overshoot it, because once you stop blowing it, it'll keep going for a little bit, so, like, right when it's roughly right here, and then just let it go and then it should hopefully lock into place okay there we go that should that's works all right so yeah it just takes a little bit for it to go and now we've got that one over there off in the distance we got to go deal with I guess this guy's name is Fledge which is kind of weird he's still a super senior to me but his name is Fledge I'm slowly learning all of these assholes names and I don't really even care to all right there's no energy up oh, there you are energy Unfortunately, though, this one, this windmill over here is going to be a bit of a prick because he lacks the propeller required in order to actually rotate him. It's like, well, if it's a wind-powered rotator is all you need, then, well, can't we just, like, rotate it manually? Uh, have we really gotten that lazy? All right, what do you got to say, Busta, Mr. Pompadour Man? Thank you so much for tracking down Cookie Allison. It's such a gorgeous day today, too, even though you rescued her, like, three months ago. On a day like today, there's nothing I'd love more than to head over to the Lumpy Pumpkin for a sip. I said, well, why don't you? Of course, my wife asked me to fist, fix the cupboard, so I'm not going anywhere fist the cupboard. <laughs> of course. Ah, uh, the story of my life. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're complaining. All right, well, anyway, we can't do anything here. What's up, Alice? It's like, okay, did you have to reignite that conversation? <laughs> so you're curious about the windmill, eh? Not really. I was just looking at it. Pretty smart design, I gotta say. So you can turn the windmill so that it always catches the wind no matter which way it's blowing. However, since the propeller isn't there, uh, yeah, I'm 
So you can turn it. Now this entire thing is useless, which means we've been wasting half of our energy using fossil fuels and oil. Oh man. Yeah, this entire windmill is pointless. Yeah, it's been uselessly sitting there ever since. It's like, okay, and you're not going to do anything to fix it? Is that windmill really that, you know, important that it's this entire... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, he doesn't even really seem to care that we had a spirit come out of our sword. <laughs> I don't know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller. Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something. To get... Why don't you just make a new propeller? It's like a piece of plastic, man. I can rotate it with wind. Well, you know, that's kind of a weird thing to say because I'm pretty sure windmills are metal or some kind of weird material. But I don't know. I live in Washington, so there's a shit ton of those giant 100-foot windmills everywhere. You see them, like, way off in the distance, and and they just don't seem that big. But you get up close, and it's like you gotta, like, spend 20 minutes walking around the thing. Anyway, he just told us to go over to Gondo at the shop, and uh, that's the item dude who will upgrade our crap for us, and uh, talk about his little flying machine buddy there that we made note of a couple episodes ago. Maybe it was two episodes ago, I don't remember. But we're going to go do that real quick, because that's actually inherent to the story. We can't bring the propeller back, or unfortunately, for whatever reason, we can carry like five shields in our pouch, and like bug nets, and you know, bows and arrows, and other miscellaneous equipment. We can't bring back a propeller, no, just God forbid. So let's go talk to him. How's it going, buddy, Mr. Gondo? I see you're not in Bitsburg, but, or Bitburg but it looks like you're having yourself a nice cup of tea. Oh, it is. You got a favor to ask me. Yeah, yeah, sure, fine. We'll just say it so we can progress this. <laughs> it's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. He probably just came in to make fun of the crazy junkie for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories. That's just it's like the face or the voice I'd imagine him having. Because he's like, hey. he's like a silly, tall, black dude. All right, that means you believe in my grandpa's stories too. Yay! I'm not crazy. I'm happy to hear that somebody else believes me. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Grandpa's old robot. What was it called? It was called... Oh, his name is Scrapper. Scrapper, really? Really, game? Uh, he was an amazing robot once. What you call him? He would go anywhere and haul anything. He's just another busted old hunk of junk. Well, it looks a little bit dated there. How old's your Grandpa again? Old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I've never actually heard of an ancient flower, but I do have this flower that happens to have flourished during ancient times. I don't think that's the same thing, but we can give it a shot. I mean, there's no harm in, you know, getting rid of these extinct flowers in favor of fixing this old piece of junk that your grandpa used to show around everyone. All right, so of course the ancient flower does end up working. He's going to go squish the flower above his head and then, I guess, screw his brains in a little bit. Whew, there you go. God, it seems like every character in a Zelda game, or a character in every Nintendo game, does that, like, arm thing. Uh, anyway, there, look at him, look at him, he's so happy, he's doing a happy-ass little jingle jangle. Oh, wait, look at him, he's, like, dancing, he's so happy to be alive, he's like, Thank God, now I can finally take over the skies, ha 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 Just kidding. <laughs> what voice did I give these guys? It was like a weird British, half-British, huh? Um... Who is this green clad individual of small stature? I can't even remember, it's like kind of pee -pees. Whoa, it's hard! Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him? Good. Well, then I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. We're conk. Oh, asshole! I did, I just saved your friggin' life so you can actually live? And he's just, yeah, yeah, what an asshole. God damn it. Yeah, this guy's a prick. I already hate him. I just want to put him out of his misery. It's like, you know, I wasted a freaking ancient flower on you. Despite the, you know, relative ease in which I can acquire one, it was not worth it on here. <laughs> and again, nobody has taken any mention of Fifi here whatsoever. Master Alice, and materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dousing. We have to douse for a freaking windmill? Or propeller, rather. I'll have a spin of my propeller. <sighs> All right, so yeah, we can't carry in our pouch or anything. Oh, who are you? I guess that's the equivalent of a uh, ancient orgasm. Your name is he? Does, should I call you mistress? <laughs> mistress? Mistress just always sounds funny to me. Just yeah, never mind. I'm gonna make the connection there. At your request, I will carry anything regardless of weight or destination. Was it? Uh, whatever. He just looks so happy. <laughs> oh, and master. We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. All right, thank you. Yes, we will. All right. Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fee or Fies through waves. I keep saying Fi Fee because it's like Fifi, but you don't say like Fi. 
It's F sharp. F sharp, she'll always be F sharp to me. What are you planning to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the cloud? It's like, oh, you haven't heard yet? I'm totally like the hero of time, man. All right, no, I don't want to ask the fortune teller. He's kind of goofy looking, like I look any better. Like any of us look any better. Okay, so we'll go douse this. Uh, they don't really seem to care that I'm <laughs> pointing my sword at him. Oh, God. I want to get away from you. All right, so over here, we've actually got a new item we can acquire. This man is going to be... <gasps> There's a new shield for us, ladies and gentlemen. One of the more pointless shields in this entire area. Ah, that's a sacred shield. As you might surmise from his name, it can handle all the variety of attacks. Uh, God, now he just kind of sounds like... Uh, what was that? I don't even remember. Not a sweat, electricity. I was going to say bore up, and it seems not... All right, so anyway, yes, this is going to be kind of a weaker shield, but it can regenerate itself, fortunately, and it can reflect electricity, cursed, and fire attacks, which is good. So we're going to hold on to it just because we can. We can't upgrade it yet because we don't have any dusk relics, and we can't get one. As far as I know, we can't get any right now, but we will be able to soon. That's kind of a bit of a spoiler because of the cursed attacks, but you, we've seen curses in other Zelda games, so... Yes, we put it in my bag. I'm still carrying the cursed metal, but I did drop off my iron shield. So, and I just did that off screen. Oh, Jesus! Uh, hang on a sec! I see a rookie whale these days! If I didn't know any better, I'd say you'd rather dump together all the right. magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find answers for you. No, you stay away from me. I'm not falling for that trick again. So, if you're having trouble, you can actually talk to him. I'll tell you where to go. I'll tell you where to find treasures and other places you can find them. Which is okay, I suppose. But, Mr. Gondo, I got a couple of things I need to do. So, take good get a scrap of me, will you? I know he only belonged to my grandpa. It's the only thing he left in his will in my name. But you can't have him. I don't even care. He was kind of an asshole anyway, and he's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of a mean little mouth. Yeah, it'd be kind of funny to have, like, a foul mouth character in, like, a Zelda game. It would be so out of place, but it'd just be kind of silly. And my Wii sensor is off. All right, so now we're going to go and upgrade our crap. Now, we can upgrade pretty much everything except, like I said, we can't upgrade our shield right here yet, mostly because we need more bird feathers and a dusk relic, and it's not really going to be of much use to us anyway. But we can upgrade this. Ladies and gentlemen, our hook beetle can not only be the speed beetle, but... All right, you want to upgrade this? There's no... Yeah, like I'd want to go back to a slow-ass hooker beetle. All right, so he's going to go and fix it up all willy-nilly. Hey, one of your buddies down on the surface, man, Mr. Scrapper. He gave us that hook beetle. You don't you know, you know, don't think you'd be able to do a little bit more for us, do you? All done. Here you go. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we got the quick beetle. It flies faster than the beetle. Watch where you're flying, Speedy Gonzalez. Well, thank you very much. If you got anything else. It's like he doesn't even care. We have like all this like super weird technology with us. But not only can we ch uh, change it to the quick beetle, but... We can now upgrade it to the Stamina Beetle, ladies and gentlemen. And look at all this crap we have. Jesus. It's like, we're lucky to have any of this stuff. Like, the Goddess Plumes I've been picking up, like, randomly throughout the course of the game. Like, I went to Lanayru Desert to pick up some more Tumbleweed. And I found two of them there, which was kind of... Or, no. I think I found one, and then I had to reload my save. And then I found another. Never mind. So I, d I did find two of them, but it, it wasn't the same one. I don't know. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves. Da 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 da. We've got the tough beetle. Yes. All right. Very nice. So we just basically pimped out our, you know, our little beetle buddy here. Very nice. Our beetle of great justice. Now we can't do this yet because, like I said, no dusk relics, <sighs> unfortunately. But we can do our net because I did get an evil crystal from the bamboo place. So that's pretty good. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Increase the size of your net to catch more bugs. Yes. You know, this would actually be kind of a good thing if we didn't spend so much time saying, You got the blessed butterfly, you got the rhino horn beetle, you got the ferret and grasshopper. Oh yeah, and off screen, when I was going to ferret woods to collect ornamental skulls and uh, hornet larvae and stuff, I did end up uh, catching a bu bunch of Deku hornets, which I missed because I think the ferret or the lost woods is the only place you can catch the, the um, bees. I haven't seen them anywhere else, and I think that's the only place you can get them, but we didn't have a bug net at that point. So we'll go back to this later. All right. Oh, thanks. Come again. You hear? So I caught a bunch of those. Like, when we were being chased by them, I caught, like, 32 of them catching all the uh, larva we needed to get, which, you know, was a little overkill, but I think we're still good. And, okay, uh, we can do some stuff with potions, but I'm not going to bother since we're still carrying the cursed uh, metal so far. So we'll deal with that a little bit later. There's a little bit of customization depending on what bugs you have. We have all of them at this point, but we're still missing the dust relics. So, well, the dust relics. Okay, 
So I'm not going to talk to that dude. All we have to do is head over to the Elden Volcano and uh, head off to the temple over there and call it good. Now, some of these places, like over, well, I don't know if it's over here, but um, depending on where you see the blessed butterflies, you will be able to, uh, ooh, 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 oh, 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 almost gave myself a head concussion. Didn't want to jump off into that particular place there. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go. Well, it's behind us, but we can take this for a nice gust of air. We're going to head to the Elden Volcano, get the propeller, bring it back, and then uh, change that other windmill to where we need it to be, and then call it good. It's directly behind us. Damn it. Damn it. That was so counterproductive of me. Oh, whatever. So we'll go do that, and um, that'll probably be the video. How long? I've only been recording for like 16 minutes so far, so this will just be one episode. I don't really feel like recording more after this. I might just get drunk because it's Saturday, and so we'll deal, we'll deal with that later. God damn this freaking thing. Yeah, today's Saturday. What day is Saturday something something? The 7th. Saturday the 7th. And I remember that because yesterday was the 6th and I remember thinking to myself, Hey, I'm not doing anything today. I'm such a waste of a human life. And also next week it's Friday the 13th, which people are going to freak. Why do people freak out more about Friday the 13th than they did like years ago? That's weird. Like, I don't know. And I think there's a movie coming out that somebody wanted to watch. And I was like, eh, that looks like a really shitty movie. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm not afraid to say that there's a movie. I don't want to waste my time watching them. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll spend some time with you in a dark theater where we have absolutely no personal exchanges. We just watch a shitty movie together. And then afterwards, we talk about how shitty it was. All right. So let's prefer point to our... We haven't done this quite yet, have we? We can drop to the temple entrance. It's descendant to this area. I will take it. Yes, we will descend here. And then I'm called good. Well, not quite yet. I'm going to collect some more of this crap. So drop down. Oof, we almost fell on the statue there. That wouldn't have been very good for us. Okay, so let's go head over here. Now, we did see it before, and I didn't really make too much note of it because I think I was on a rant about something, about something in Zelda games. But over here, Blessed Butterflies, we can go and... Ugh, yeah, there we go. And we got ourselves the Eye of... Or the Stone of Eyes of Truth. How's it going? Usually these guys do give us treasures, like the first guy gave us an ornamental skull, this guy gives us Elden Ore. I don't know if it's the same every single time. It just kind of seems like it. Or maybe it's just relative to the region we're in right now. But, uh, yeah, we have more Elden Ore. Apparently we've been using that a lot more than I previously thought. I don't know. Well, let's go run down here. <gasps> Woo -wee! Ah! Okay, and then here's the propeller just chilling. It's like, okay, we seriously can't carry this thing where we go. We can carry like giant things of electrical circuit, circu circu whatever things that we did in the areas. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. Yes. Have a spin of my propeller, Fifi. So, yes, we can use the robot to bring it down. It's like, no, don't call it. We'll just leave it here. I don't care. <laughs> No, we're doing that. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission master. <laughs> it's like, okay, you didn't have to tell me. Oh, sweet. Well, I guess we can hear telepathic transmission. Not very much of a telepathy if you can actually hear it. Uh, but there he comes. There he comes. Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> it's nice to see how much a uh, flower could power you. Mistress Fee, I hope you weren't waiting long. Visit. <laughs> so, you budget you want me to carry this? Very excited. Hey, Master Short Pants, you're on my way here. Zerpiter, I said get out of the way. <laughs> Asshole. Jesus Christ. This guy's a dick. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll try not to have, like, 20 parties down here. Let's try not to have any grandchildren, Fifi. What does that even mean? Master, I suggest we also return to the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. Uh, okay. I, 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 I guess we can do that. Sure. So let's just climb back up here and go up this way. I, I, uh, I was thinking about going down and just killing some Boca Blends and stuff, but I think we're probably fine on that front for now. We don't really have to worry about it. So let's just go back to the surface. I don't really care to do any of that right now. We'll do that after the next temple. I don't think after... I You know, I think we're probably upgraded enough to the point where, you know, it's not really worth it. It's just more or less a waste of time to be, like, getting, like, heart pieces and stuff right now since all the heart pieces we can buy and collect right now, we'd only... We wouldn't even be able to get a full heart container, but after the temple, we will be able to get uh, that and then some. And it's and it's not like we're like low on money or anything, so we'll we'll do that nonsense. It's the only thing we really need to buy from Beetle's shop right now is the piece of heart. And like I said, it's pretty pointless to us right now. So even if we did buy that, we wouldn't get another heart container. So we'll wait till after the dungeon and then collect all this stuff there, and then do some other various miscellaneous things. So yeah, this is like five episodes in the future, by the way, so just <laughs> just so you know, I'm planning ahead. But hey, check it out, Mr. What's your name? His name is like, uh, such a weird name. It's like Jerakow or something, or just like, come on, can you come up with just a regular name? Like, why can't this guy just be Joe? 
Is that the windmill propeller? <laughs> well, thank you. I guess it's apparently like metal. If you need me to reclaim, cleave, feel free to call for Mistress Fifi. I will travel to any destination because it is. It's like you're not allowed to call her Fifi. She's the love of my life, man. You get the hell out of my house. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? How'd you recognize him? He wasn't. You didn't even look anything like he did there. Whatever. Is that. Is that. Oh, it's a windmill propeller. I didn't even notice that entire conversation that went by right in front of me. So let me go ahead and punish myself by hammering my hand against the wind. Alright, so he's gonna fix it. Thank God. This goes in here, and I just cranked this few clicks. It's like, if that's all it takes, just build a new friggin' propeller, or at least turn it into, like, some sort of turning mechanism. Or if you find someone now, now we just need to find a way to spin the propeller. Shouldn't have thought that far in advance. Honey, honey. Oh, no, I think I might have promised our wife to fix our cupboard. I swear that woman's always looking for some Wait, that sounded oddly, uh, suggestive. See you around, Ellison. <laughs> Time to hurt my hand so I don't have to finger her. I mean, never mind. Okay, so we got nothing over here. All right, so let's go use this. And this one's a little bit more annoying since you have to turn it like, what? What is that? Not 365. It's like 280 degrees or whatever. I don't know. It's like 180, and then 270. Yeah, 365 degrees. But we can rotate this more or less all the way, and just gotta go wait a little bit. Just gotta wait a little bit longer, ladies and gentlemen. And roughly right there. And then if it needs a little bit more coaxing, we can go ahead and give it another spin. Another spin of my propeller. Don't you dare. Okay, good. Because sometimes it'll just keep swinging forward. And it's really annoying. I don't like it. But oh, sweet Jesus. Did nobody ever pay attention to this part of Skyloft? It's like, oh my god, we had a hidden orgasm room inside the light tower. No wonder why they call it the light tower, man. Just kidding. Gondo was never allowed inside of it. Just kidding. That was that was a little overboard. Never mind. A little overboard in everything. All right. Well, we run over there. We got to play our harp, and then it'll open up a bit of the sky that's been previously inaccessible to us, which is pretty. Well, it's not opened up, so to speak. Just we can now access it more or less directly. So, all right. Come on, Link. Come on. Oh my God. Look at. I'm. Oh, Jesus. Maybe this Wii remote sucks. Like I bought it for ten bucks on eBay in like bulk, just because all mine were getting broken by other people. So I just went and bought a bunch and then, uh, but this Wiimote I'm using, the actual Wiimote, is from the Twilight, or Twilight Princess, from the Skyward Sword thing, so. Alright, let's go play our, our lovely harpsichord over here. Alright, very nice, so let's go. Alright, there we go. Now we have to do practically the same thing we did in the Sealed Temple, which is kind of annoying and, you know, go with the pulsating circle. Alright, let's see if we can do it. Um, oh, hey, Fifi, how's it going? You've been making an appearance a lot in this episode. So, alright, and then... There we go. And then she's gonna sing to us. There we go. Uh, don't mess up, Link. Don't mess up. This is your big chance to make a debut comeback single on the Billboard 100. You know you want to. It's your dream, Link. You know you, you know you can do it. Just don't mess it up, man. And with that, we have. Okay, cool. So now we get the Super Bowl 100 shot at this. Very nice. Yeah. So we're gonna be playing a lot of this Ballad of the Goddess crap. <sighs> You're not even singing, Fifi, but you look oddly anthemic. Yes. Oh, Link's like, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh. Yay! We did it! It's like, who was playing the drums there? Oh, sweet. Oh, Fifi! Oh, game! Why is she rotating like that? She's not even touching the ground. She shouldn't be moving with the structure. Unless she's just moving relative to me. She's like, look into my eyes, Link. You know you want to? No. That's inexcusable video game physics. Children actors. It's been like 20 episodes. I can do it again. <laughs> oh, all right. So, anyway, Fifi, what do you got to say? Master, there's a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three. Yes, it will lead us to a hint that will lead us to the place that will lead us to where we need to get our sword tempered. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. Ladies and gentlemen, next time on Skyward Sword, we're going to go examine Thunderhead. Just a little bit, just a little bit, and then we're going to continue on and doing our quest. The game is probably rough, whoops, roughly halfway through. <laughs> but um, next time, I will see you guys there. Um, don't reprimand me, you prick. I didn't know there wasn't a cliff there. Uh. Thanks, Banjo.